In section 10.2, there's a link to a video that describes how to calculate the maximum steady evaporation rate when there is a shallow water table near the soil surface. Now that video shows an example of how to calculate the maximum steady evaporation rate for a clay loam. And at the end of that video, the question is posed of how much lower would the maximum steady evaporation rate be for a sand? And in this video, I'm going to go over the answer to that question. And then we're going to compare our findings with the results for the clay loam soil in the previous video. So we're told that this sand has a water table at 1 meter, a B value of 1.7, an air entry potential of minus 0.7 kilopascals, or minus 7.26 centimeters, and a saturated hydraulic conductivity of 21 centimeters per hour. Now recall from the last video that in order to calculate the maximum steady evaporation rate, we use the following equation. We are given all of the necessary values that we need to plug in to this equation. And if we do that, we're left with the maximum steady evaporation rate, E, is equal to 21 centimeters per hour multiplied by minus pi times minus 7.26 centimeters. This is the air entry potential that we were given. And in the denominator, we have 100 centimeters. So this is the L term, which I have converted from one meter to 100 centimeters, just to keep our units the same. Then we multiply this L times N, which in this case is 2 plus 3 divided by our B value, which is 1.7, and then further multiplied by sine. And the argument for the sine function is pi divided by N, which again, N is equal to 2 plus 3 over 1.7. And this entire value is raised to the n power, that is 2 plus 3 divided by 1.7. Now again, working here from this sine function outward, you can plug that value into your calculator. And when you do, you will find that the steady evaporation rate is equal to 0 0.00169 centimeters per hour. But in the previous video, this evaporation rate was given in millimeters per day. So here I've converted from hours to days and then from centimeters to millimeters. And when we do that, we get a steady evaporation rate of 0 0.41 millimeters per day. Now recall from the last video that the clay loam soil had a steady evaporation rate of 3.2 millimeters per day. And now the calculation for the sandy soil shows an evaporation rate of 0 0.41 millimeters per day. And this just reflects the influence of the soil texture and the soil physical properties given by the Campbell model on the soil's ability to transmit water from the subsurface to the surface in order to sustain this steady state evaporation.